In this video, I'm going to give a review on CS411 database systems, a course offered in the Illinois MCS program. I'll give my opinion to let you know if it's worthwhile or take or not. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time with me, my name is Will. I'm an engineering manager and an online computer science master's degree student. And on this channel, I share my experiences with online learning and professional career development as a developer. Today I'll give an overview of CS411 and I'll give my personal opinions on the course. Where does this course fit and what's needed to start in the course? CS411, it qualifies as a breadth course slated in the database and information systems area with its PALS, text information systems, and intro to data mining. The syllabus claims that you need data structures, but I think that's a complete lie. I came into the program without any data structures learning, so it's not really a prerequisite, even though it says it is. Some basic Python or any major programming language plus SQL will give you a pretty good foundation for the course, um, and also the group project. Yes, this is a class where they force us introverted engineers to get together and work on a project. There is a book for the course. It's called Database Systems, the complete book. Take a look at this thing. This thing is T H I double C thick. Take a listen. Yep, this thing is a weapon. Uh, it's definitely not needed for the course though. I think I read about five pages of it and then didn't read it, so don't waste your time buying it if you don't want to. Next, what's covered in this course? Well, CS411 is advertised as an intro for databases, studying the fundamentals of using and implementing relational and non-relational database management systems. In this course, you'll learn about relational databases, basically the history of the databases. You'll learn some relational algebra and the MapReduce framework. You'll play around with some schemas. You'll learn how to write basic SQL queries. Um, the course uses MySQL, and you'll learn about indexing and query optimization near the end of the course. Next, you'll learn about NoSQL and other document database systems. You'll learn about the history and the motivations for why you want to use a NoSQL over a traditional relational database. And you'll also do some hands-on assignments using MongoDB document database. And lastly, you'll work with graph databases. Again, you'll learn about the history and the motivations for using graph databases like social networking, things like that. And you'll also do a hand-on assignment with the Neo 4J graph database. All right, so what everyone wants to know is what's the time commitment? Well, CS411 is a pretty heavy class. I made the mistake doing CS484 pro, uh, parallel programming at the same time. That was a big mistake. There are weekly lectures that have weekly quizzes, and those take about a couple hours to go through. Actually, you have four major what the program calls machine problems, but they're basically programming assignments or SQL assignments. Um, they range in difficulty. Some take a couple hours, some took me north of 10 hours, so I'd say about five to 10 hours per each of those. The heart of the program is a semester long project where you need to create a website with a database backend that can do various things taught throughout the course. My group met weekly for an hour and each of us had tasks to complete. That was probably another hour on average per week. At the end of the course, your group must do a recorded video demo showing off your project. Lastly, there's two graded quizzes. They're basically cover about six weeks of topics. They're I think 10 questions each, and then there is a proctored midterm and a proctored final. Um, these four components actually make up 50% of your grade, which is ridiculous. So it puts a lot of stress on you. You have to study, keep on top of it, basically memorize things like know when you'd use um, SQL, like relational databases over NoSQL, uh, how to query a document database, like how do graphs work, things like that. So. Uh, that's pretty stressful. All right, so now into my opinions. What did I like about the course? First thing I really liked was that I got to learn some new new technologies. Um, I've worked a lot with relational databases, mostly SQL Server on Microsoft, but I've never worked with um, NoSQL, like MongoDB, or graph databases for sure, and Neo4j. So it's always good to learn new things, even though in my current job I'll probably never really use them, but it's good to see how, like, Facebook and other companies would use those type of technologies. The next thing is I really like the group project. I also didn't like the group project. I'll tell you a little bit about that later. But my team was really experienced. They had solid backgrounds. I learned a lot from them. And I, I think the big plus of doing the Illinois MCS is that there's the, just the caliber of the students and the peers that you're working with. So in these group projects, the content's useful, but you basically learn a lot. Like I learned about 
Redis, Django, web development in general, some new Git practices, just things like that. So working with other people in the industry uh, with different experiences is just great. And this course highlighted that, so I really enjoyed that. The next thing I enjoyed were those four programming assignments I talked about earlier. They were pretty straightforward. They were well designed. I learned a lot. I learned personally. I learned a lot by just doing. Uh, the auto graders work quite well, so you could do the program assignment, submit it, see how well you did, redo it. Um, you had as many submissions as long as you got it done by the deadline. Uh, there were some technical difficulties, but the staff and the TAs were quite good at jumping in and helping you where needed if you put a question up on Piazza or Slack or anything else. So. I did like the programming. All right, enough with the good, so what did I not like with the course? So I told you I liked the group project, but here's where I didn't like it. I didn't like the concept of it. The reason why I didn't like the concept of it is because this is CS411 database system. So you think it'd be a database heavy project. Well, it isn't. <laughs> About 80% of it is web development, basically setting up a web server, uh, CSS, HTML, thank God for Bootstrap. Um, it, it was basically creating a web page and then creating a database on the back end. So for a database class, I thought that it was a little bit heavy handed on requiring people to learn web technologies. Luckily my team was good with web technology, so it wasn't a big stretch, but if you had a bunch of people that haven't built a web server, um, things like that, it could be a pretty big struggle. The next thing I didn't like was the course material got dry at sometimes. I mean, it is database systems, so it kind of is a dry topic, but they could have shaved some time by jumping over some of the timelines, shaved a couple hours off telling us about the history of who invented what, and what year. It's really not relevant for most of the course, so they could have skipped that over. Probably my biggest gripe and most gripes with that course is the weight put on those two big quizzes and those two proctor exams. Like I said before, they're 50% of the course, and I think that they could have done without either the proctor exams or those two quizzes and put more weight on the group project because, and the programming assignments too. That's where you really learn database systems, not in regurgitating information on those quizzes and those proctor exams. So I wish they would have changed the scaling to be more on the on the programming assignments and the group project and less on the proctored exams and things like that. All right, so what are my final thoughts on CS411 database systems? Well, if you're like me and you only have basically any experience with relational databases, um, it's a good course just so you can freshen up your knowledge on the latest technologies, basically graph databases and NoSQL, but it is a very demanding course and you can't slack off and expect that you're gonna get through without missing deadlines, missing quizzes, missing assignments, things like that. So if you are going to take it and you work full time, you might have a family. I'd only do it by itself. I wouldn't try and pair with something else. Um, and my last thought is that the group assignment is kind of worth the price of admission. You learn a lot from your peers and that's been the main value of the Illinois MCS. So uh, although sometimes I don't like working with other people, but with the people that are in the program, it's definitely worth it. Thank you for watching and stick around if you wanna learn more about my experiences with the Illinois MCS or just career growth in general as a developer. Catch you in the next one, see ya.